This is late October and early November, and I just picked up my Moleskine 2023 weekly planner. It is the time to get ready for 2023. Hello everyone, this is Amit Don of AmitDon.com. Today I'll have another episode of a weekly planner video. And I'll be taking a look at the Moleskine 2023 Weekly Planner. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this hybrid channel, I'm always trying new and different ideas to take you beyond boundaries. If you're into thinking outside the box, this is the channel for you. If you're looking for more notebook videos, there will be links in the description box below. So last year, I did a Moleskine 2023 uh, Planner review. And looks like a lot of you liked it. So I wanted to, you know, do another one for... The next year and uh, fortunately this year I c came across this even uh, you know in October uh, so I didn't have to wait till like let's say January so we're going to take a look at it and see uh, some of the features and you know what uh, what it uh, looks like and if uh, you know this is a good planner or not so this is a 12 month classic 2023 weekly planner and uh, the measurements are 3.5 by 5.5 or uh, 9 by 14 inches, uh, the, uh, sorry, 9 by 14 centimeters, and this is A6 size. And then uh, we have uh, the paper is 70 GSM paper, and uh, then we have uh, the notebook also comes with uh, dialing codes, time zones, planning uh, section, and then international uh, measurements and uh, world holidays, which we'll see inside. And then we have uh, uh, it lies flat and then there's elastic closure and then it has ribbon a book, bookmark and expandable pocket so these are the basic features so now we're going to take a look at it so this is the um, elastic closure so you can see that you know this is just to like you know hold it uh, neatly so I'm just going to open this here and then here you can see that the week on two pages horizontal layout so this is going to be horizontal layout and then here uh, they mentioned some of the features uh, this actually has 20 uh, 2024 overview and then 2023 monthly planning the global holidays which i mentioned before and there's like you know some other uh, stuff related to journey and uh, here i can see that this attached three sheets of stickers to highlight and personalize your uh, content so this flap right here actually they said that you know you can create a desk calendar 2023 uh, desk calendar with it so basically the way it works uh, you just have to kind of like you know uh, make it this way uh, by putting it this way which I'm not going to go into details but I'll just you know put it back uh, because that it would look better if I if it has the you know flap and I'll just make it the way it was before okay so here in case you want to return uh, there is a section for address and and it just has some history about you know Moleskine on this page and Moleskine weekly diary 2023 and then here you can put some personal uh, data. So for example, name, address, phone number, email. Uh, usually I never put anything here uh, because you know I don't want to, uh, people to get my information if I lose it. And then here you can see that it has overview of uh, 2023. And then here uh, it has like, you know, 2023 20, months altogether. Uh, so this is something you can just like, you know, important uh, highlight you can put it in here for a quick review uh, let's see if you have something very important you can just put something here okay or you can put a star mark or you can put a you know check mark so this can come in handy if you're trying to remember something very important in a month or so and then here they have the 2024 as you can see and uh, let's take a look here so here they have uh, global holidays 2023 uh, the problem with the whole notebook is that everything is very light, you know, and it's very hard to see. Even you're like, you know, let's say uh, 80 or you're 20, 
I think everyone is going to have the same problem because they are so light that it's very difficult to see what what's written. And even here, there's like, you know, measures and conversions and dialing codes and my place is checked. But these things, even if you put it very close to your eyes, you're not going to be able to see it properly. So if you're not able to see it right now, it's not my camera. It's just the way it is because it's kind of very uh, light brown uh, font on top of white paper. So it just doesn't show. So I don't know why they don't make it more like, you know, visible. And here we have like, you know, some travel planning section. Uh, and this just like, you know, a couple of pages, ideas and goals, travel planning. So it's very little. Uh, I don't think you can write even that much. It's going to be finished, the section. And there here, they added some, my extraordinary moments this year. And then here we have uh, my blank space. And then here looks like it's something like uh, you have to click the dots. Uh, to create a map of the places you go and here you can see that my inspir inspiring journeys so this is something if you want to do that and then here uh, again some like you know ruler right here uh, and then here uh, this looks like just blank I don't see anything here and then here we have like you know uh, day by day so the way it works uh, they have like you know here and here uh, each day and that's how the whole calendar continues until let me just take a look at the end of the month so I don't see they're putting anything at the end of the month so it's just like in a continue day by day this way so let me just go a little further okay so I would like to have like you know a month in front of every like you know month uh, a month uh, for example uh, like this in front of every month in between so here what's happening that you know you cannot really overview what's coming up because they're just giving like you know month flat on both sides I, I mean days flat on both sides so this is something you know I don't like I, I, I would like months layout on a page the whole month uh, after each month or before each month so that would make things much easier. So let's just continue and see what we have here. And basically, that's how the notebook ends. And then here, it's just like, you know, a little bit history of Moleskin again. And here we have some pocket and then they added some sticker. And let me just take it out. So you can see that this is empty and so here you have some stickers if you want to like you know highlight something or if you want to use something but I never you know use these so these are just like you know kind of waste for me so that's how the whole um, notebook works so one thing to mention that this is hardcover and they do have softcover uh, I remember last year I had the hardcover as well uh, so I never purchased the softcover yet but in the future I will so I like the notebook, but the thing is, you know, I don't like uh, the things written are very light and it's very hard to see. Even the camera, I, th I think, cannot catch it that much. Uh, and then also the month layout or week and days layout, very simple, you know, there's nothing in between. So really you cannot plan or you cannot have overview at a glance in between uh, each month or before starting each month or after ending a month. So you have to kind of like, you know, go forward here to look what's for that month. So I think that's a designing uh, flaw I don't like, uh, but some of you may like it. But uh, in terms of paper, definitely very you know nice paper, uh, no complaint on that. And uh, the ruler uh, or the straight line would help you to like, you know, write properly. Uh, and this like information here, uh, I think these are useless. So for example, like, you know, the international dial code or holidays I don't think anyone uses that because everything is online right now so I don't see any point of giving this and even if they're giving it you cannot really see it because they're just too light but overall uh, I'm happy with the product uh, but I'm not like in you know, 100% happy uh, because they have uh, as I mentioned that there's some you know designing flaws I don't like but except that you know I'm happy and uh, I picked this up for 22 Canadians, but I noticed that they would go on sale, like, you know, uh, just uh, before the, uh, before 2023 or later. 
So if you get lucky, you might be able to pick it up even lesser than that. But uh, my price was $22 Canadian. And uh, they come in different shapes and sizes. And uh, this is the pocket size I purchased. And this is the hardcover. So that was the review of the Moleskine 2023 Weekly Planner. For uh, the next notebook uh, review video, I'll put a link on the screen. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.